Hey, good morning. Down on the low water. In my Irish moss bed. And this is Tide Pool Tim. I'm a biologist on the coast of Maine. And I make my living from harvesting sea vegetables and sea life. Both for food and for labs, universities, research. But what we're looking at here is a nice cluster of Irish moss. I'm in an Irish moss bed this morning. See these little tufts growing off the rocks. A lot of our customers are wanting to know more about how and where we collect our Irish moss. So here's a little quick video. This morning I've been out. I've got about a half a basket of Irish moss. And we're down in Cobbs Cook Bay in eastern Maine. Um, ever since COVID hit, a lot of people looking to eat our fresh hand harvested Irish moss. Of course, we take it back, we clean it, we dry it and um, just a need for more information. So as a biologist, um, I'm out here on the beach every day, uh, going from high tide where the brown seaweeds are, down into the greens, like the sea lettuce, that bright green, and then at the lowest inner tidal, we get into the red seaweeds like dulse and uh, Irish moss, that sort of thing. So. Uh, Whenever there's a full moon and the tide uh, drops extra low, like right here, we typically have maybe a 17 or 18 foot tide um, from high tide to low. But today it's dropping down into the 19 and a half feet. And um, Irish moss wants to grow where there's a lot of energy and a lot of current. So we're in an area um, with uh, a lot of tidal current caused by those big tides moving in and out. And uh, you wonder how it would attach but what happens here is the Irish moss has a hold fast, and here's a bright red muscle, and it attaches right to the rocks. It's a tiny little, you know, suction cup kind of, it's not a root. It's not getting anything out of the rock. It's getting all of its nutrients right out of the water as the tide goes out and as the tide comes back in. Um, and it varies quite a bit in color. You can see in this basket, the older growth is more kind of like what I think is sun bleached and almost a yellowish color. And then you get down into the to the base of the plant where the new growth is and you can see that bright red color. Um, as we're picking, we tend to pick up pieces of kelp, pieces of uh, bladder rack, um, dulse, sea lettuce. And when we get back to uh, my office, I have to clean that out. There's some tangleweed. Uh, what we use for harvesting our uh, moss, I use a set of, of shears. And what that does allows us to cut off just the top part of the plant and leave the whole vast in the bottom of the plant down below so that it can regrow. Now this is an area where I've harvested several um, times over the course of the year, never right in one spot. But this was picked a couple of months ago and it's already grown back. See quite a bit there. Oh, look, there's a blood star. Find a lot of sea creatures when I'm down here. The fact that we're harvesting in different areas every day, people ask, well, how sustainable is this? Um, you never pick the whole plant. You're just taking the top of the frond, if you will, the leafiest part. And so the bottom continues to grow. Now there's some nice burgundy, maroon, Irish moss. And this moss will attach to anything. Here it is growing on a on a rock. It also attaches to mussels. Um, on a mussel right there. I can kind of see it. Well, here's just some attached to another rock. But mostly mussels that'll attach to other types of seaweeds. And um, you gotta remember, people that order and buy our, our moss, occasionally uh, you will find evidence of other organisms in there. Like, see this white stuff on the base there? That's a hydroid colony but there can be shrimp in here, uh, periwinkle snails. We do our best to clean it all out, um, not only before we dry it, but after it's dry, but typically there's just some organisms left behind. So hopefully that uh, gives a little info about harvesting Irish moss on the coast of Maine. This is Tide Pool Tim. If you uh, would like to order some moss, just go right to our website. Be happy to uh, fill your order usually collect to water and dry and ship right out as long as the sun cooperates here in the summer on the coast of Maine. Thanks for watching. We'll have more videos soon.